Hi, today I'm going to be showing you part two of the thrift haul that John and I did a few weeks ago at the Idaho Farm Thrift Store. So it's the second half. And to be in the festive holiday mood, I played Christmas music. So I hope you guys enjoy this footage and I'll see you later. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform. Okay, this is part two of my Idaho Farm Thrift Store in Jerome, Idaho trip I was taking a look at this section because... You never know what you're going to find. I do generally look at the glass and plastics area. Sometimes I'm looking for a water bottle for me or just to see if there's something that might sell. I thought that Eiffel Tower bottle was interesting, but probably won't fetch much money, so I left it. I don't do well with coasters. They take a long time for me to sell. I thought this might be a spode, but it wasn't. And I'm trying to stay away from pitchers and large breakables. thought that was pretty, but again, trying to stay away from large breakables. I take a gander at the pants, but... I have not been doing well with those lately, so I leave them. I was looking for a jar for buttons, but I end up finding one somewhere else. What do you think of my Christmas music, you guys? <laughs> Even though I filmed this a few weeks ago, I thought it'd be Christmassy today. I've been kind of in the Christmas mood, and I found some great tunes from Epidemic Sound. Shout out to Epidemic Sound. That was interesting. Unfortunately, didn't have any markings. I believe that was a homemade piece. Then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire? Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas moment. I pick up things that look interesting to me. But don't always buy them as you could see. Consider getting that, but looked it up, it wasn't worth much. And this is that store that I didn't get a lot from. <laughs> Still showing you what not to get. <laughs> we did buy a few things here though. <laughs> that was cute. I do look at the mugs. I've been very picky with them lately because I have so many mugs listed on eBay that haven't sold yet. But sometimes you could just find that special one that you know you're going to find a buyer for right away. I do like looking at the dishes. Sometimes it's for me personally, or if I find something pretty unique, I could flip that on eBay. Oh, pretty. I believe somebody probably used that for their wedding. Sandy, lights and angels. 
I don't know if you guys could see, but the names of the bride and groom were engraved on the glasses. I gotta get the silver, it's kind of cool. It's by Gibson. It's like three fifty for all of them. That's for me. I think about getting this for my dad because he loves frogs. Unfortunately, I did not get the silverware because John didn't like it. <laughs> That's okay. I was actually mixed about it, so I was fine with leaving it. And I didn't get the frog either. It kind of looked like something for a kid. I just look at every section of this thrift store as I do in most thrift stores, as you should. If you're a true treasure hunter, you want to look everywhere you possibly can. And I always look in the health and beauty section. You never know what you're going to find. You can find some valuable perfume or skincare, etc. Oh, a news good. Right, um, Avon. I used to sell Avon. I was an Avon lady back in the day. I really enjoyed it and that's when my kids were little and I'd take them with me or leave them with my ex and um, it was fun for a while I met a lot of nice people but not my thing anymore I like music boxes and I just sold them but I'm pretty picky about them and they have to be in good condition I think I got that from my cat, for our second cat, Oliver, but we haven't used it on him yet. I know Sparta doesn't like being on a leash, but Oliver is pretty easygoing. I do very well with ink cartridges, most of them, so I just thought about getting that, but I didn't end up getting it because it was only worth like 10 bucks. You might want to always look in baskets like this because you never know what you're going to find. I found some, um, some somewhat high ticket items in baskets like that. Sometimes envelopes in bulk like that do well, but it's not something I want to sell. I always look at the office stuff. As you know, told you that before. <laughs> for me or for selling. I have sold those um, rolls before for adding machines, but it doesn't excite me, so I didn't get them. I was just checking that out. That's kind of like prepaid stationery or something like that. Well, I had envelopes with it. <laughs> Wine bottles, bottle sacks. Come on in, come on up, come on over. It's the friendly. Hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. Try and slow it down when I'm filming, but it doesn't always happen. So come on in, come on up, come on over. Maybe I should have looked at that yarn. Some yarn could be valuable. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. I really like this lady, but I really like this clock, and I considered getting it for me personally. I put it on my, in my cart, but... When all is said and done, I am trying to buy for reselling, and unless I really need or want the item, I'm not going to get it. I do like to look at the bins because we're going to be moving soon. We're hoping to buy a house in a couple of months. But I didn't want to get them that soon. I believe that was a recipe box.
Oh, and the mouse is missing an eye. Poor thing. I like this frosted glass. That's what drew my eye to that. But didn't get it. I was going to trade out that jar for that jar, but I didn't get either jar. Couldn't resist. Had to ring the bell. I did get that. It was like, oh, I flashed it too quick. I think it was 79 cents. I just got it for personal use. I had to get that bird. Or I got one like him. Should have got him now that I see that. <laughs> kind of a thing for ceramic birds. I already have a two. Cute. Trivets are nice and I've sold them, but I have a couple in my inventory that are just sitting there right now, so I'm not gonna get those. Napkin holder was cute. Don't do that well with napkin holders. I thought that was so cute. Some like it hot, H-A-U-T-E. I wish I'd gotten that now. And I wish I'd gotten that. It's funny, you watch these videos back and you realize you should have gotten some things. <laughs> Oh well. You know, sometimes you do miss things and you don't notice it until you watch your video back. Because, you know, you don't always see everything. Now, vintage clocks can be good. I did pick that up to check it out. It was $6.49. Um, I should have comped it out. Sometimes those clocks sell well. It depends on the clock. Now, a clock that is a great seller is a Starburst clock from the 50s. I've sold a couple of those for upwards of $30. So if I think about it, I'll put a picture up on the screen of one. But you got also look them up. Starburst or Sunburst clock. I thought that might be a yard row, but it wasn't. Just generic pretty yellow vase. I really liked it, but didn't get it. I regret not getting this. That's a dragonfly candle holder. And if I didn't use it for myself, I could have sold it. Dragonflies are desirable. Oh, well. Here's my little bird. I got him. He joined the other little bird I had already in my living room. And these little cats were no brainer at $1.29 each. Got them. They're sitting in my living room on my bookcase. Didn't get that guy though. Maybe I should have. saw the fruit there but I already have some I'm trying to sell so guess that's a candle holder think another bird now I wish you had gotten that one <laughs> I should have gotten those or shells. I don't really. S oh, I see another bird over there next to the lighthouse. You guys see it? Oh, yeah. Should have got them. I don't know why I didn't get those. Ah. I considered it. I see why I didn't get it, though, because there's a chip on the beak, which I discovered later.
I was looking at Christmas stockings because I like selling those. I like mostly selling the vintage ones and it looks like they had some there. I didn't get them though for whatever reason. I hate Santa's cookies. Pretty. Thought it might be a willow tree, but it wasn't. I did not get her, unfortunately. I didn't get that one either. I have done pretty well with Christmas soap dispensers, but I think that one was a cheapy one. Not worth much. Where's the missus? Let me see the mister. The snow is falling down and it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. My favorite holiday. It means so much more than words can say. And I claim Christmas is a magic day. Sometimes I tend to no markings. Cute. It's musical, but had to try it. Nothing happened. Oh no! Ah, uh -huh, Santa corkscrew. Kind of wish I got that now. I kind of need a wine stopper. He was in a corkscrew. He's a wine stopper. <sighs> Look at that thing. Sometimes I just put them in my cart to look at them, look them up later, so I don't always get everything that's in my cart. Oh, maybe I should have gotten that. Because I just sold a tree topper for $30. Looked it up, wasn't worth anything. Some of those Hallmark ornaments are worth money, but most of them aren't. But I suggest you comp them out. No, the one I looked up wasn't worth anything. Or not much. I'm looking for items for at least $20 and over. Oh my goodness. I probably should have gotten Department 56. I wonder if I comp that out. Department 56 is a great brand. Man, I think I have to go back to this thrift store and get the things I missed if they're still there. I filmed this about three or four weeks ago. I'm just now getting it posted to YouTube. Angel hair. That reminds me of my childhood. We used to put angel hair on our tree. No, we didn't put it on our tree. We've, we've used it for decorations. What am I thinking? You'd like put that and then you put like like some Santa decorations on top of it. And it looks like Santa was in the snow. I believe that was like a homemade basket. We also use that snow. You make your uh, tree white. Cherished teddies. I kind of wish I'd comp that out. Uh, that could have been worth some good money. Not sure. I did look that up. I couldn't find anything on it. 
also we didn't get it. Should have got that 1991 ornament because that could have meant something to somebody. First time at Texas Roadhouse. Oh, there we go. Wait. With my accompanying coaster. <laughs> Yum. Can't wait till my stick. My stick. Can't wait till my stick gets here. My steak. Oh, your stick will Can you take a picture of this? Slow down, 